Hello, my name is Robert Pratton, and uh, this is my sort of book list, I guess, my uh, inspiration for uh, transmedia storytelling, and also books that I think will, um, you know, are useful to read to help you uh, sort of along this path. Now, all of my books are on uh, Kindle or, uh, you know, uh, some other kind of digital format, so I can't just hold them up. I'm going to have to use the magic of cinema to, to sort of drag them in. So I'm going to look down occasionally at my little list of uh, books. In terms of, uh, so I put them into different categories. So in terms of um, basic writing, I would definitely recommend John Truby's book, uh, the, Amat the Anatomy of Story. There's, um, he's got like 22 steps that, um, you know, like a workflow that you go through for creating your story and your characters. And I know there are lots of other good um, writing books, but this one is particularly, particularly exceptional and it's really good for, um, for transmedia storytelling. So I definitely recommend that. The other book I recommend is The Art of Game Design by Jesse Schnell. I think this is a go-to book for any game designer, actually. And um, for the transmedia storyteller, it's a good um, reference book. And it's quite a good read as well about... Uh, it will introduce you to like game mechanics, this type of thing, but also audience engagement, what it means to uh, have fun, what the difference is between play and games and so on. So I, I definitely recommend that. Um, transmedia books. Um, one of my favourites is one that I read really recently. It's called Building Imaginary Worlds. And this will, um, there's very few books that really just talk about world building. In uh, there's the John Truby book, for example, looks at telling a story, but this, uh, this one, Building Imaginary Worlds, looks at um, the, the whole world building and what you should be thinking about, what, what um, story worlds include and so on. It's, it's really good. It's a gripping read, um, even, even though it's like a factual, factual book, so I couldn't put it down. Um, another book worth reading is this one, uh, Pervasive Games. So a pervasive game is one that blends fiction and reality, usually played out on, um, on a street somewhere. And uh, this, is, this is really good introduction to that. Again, it looks at engagement, looks at real world places and storytelling. So I, I got a look uh, a lot out of that. Um, now, if you're interested in sort of, let's say, marketing, or you want to use storytelling for um, for telling brand stories uh, and that type of thing, I would recommend uh, this one, Content to Commerce. Um, it, in, a way, in a way, it's quite a light book. It's very easy to get through. Uh, the chapters are very, are very quite thin, but it's it's interesting. It's got some interesting things in there, and it's worth um, it's worth reading. This one is really good. It's called Story Wars, and it invites you to look at your story as a as a brand and like what role that you play what character archetype you are as a brand um so that's really good and we've used it ourselves for our branding and um i, I would i would recommend that and of course uh, probably any book by henry jenkins but this is his uh, most recent one spreadable media so a long time ago uh, i first read henry jenkins book um, convergence culture and that's what got me started now I think that's probably on everybody's, any transmedia person, that's probably on their sort of go-to list. Um, I then read his white paper on uh, if, it, if it doesn't spread, it's dead. And it's taken a number of years for it to come out in this sort of uh, fully-fledged book. So, I, so I'm going to definitely recommend that. Now in terms of creative work, creative stories that you could use for inspiration, uh, this is a really good one, uh, Shuffle, by James T. Rydell. It's a collection of different stories. Um, I think they were like a couple of dollars each. But you need, and you need to read a few to really understand the transmedia storytelling that's in there. And we did a podcast on it. So if you go to our um, transmedia podcast, you'll be able to find an interview with the writer who takes you into the background of that. So that's a really good one. I would read as well Life After Life by Kate Atkinson because in it, uh, the main character, she uh, keeps dying. She keeps making sort of a wrong choice. Or, and actually, she, that's the point. She doesn't make too many choices. It's a, it's a book about fate. And things happen and she ends up dying and so her life respawns. And I got put onto this book by um, Janet Murray. And again, I would recommend anything by Janet Murray, but particularly if you go to her blog 
and read about the uh, replay stories because that's something that's really got me excited um, and that's a kind of investigation that I'm doing at the moment looking at transmedia storytelling but specifically replay stories um, and that is my five minutes of inspiration.